George Michael. You knew George Michael quite well, didn't you? Yeah. We were acquaintances that um, were fond and bitchy about each other. <laughs> were you surprised when he passed away? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. There was no age for him to be anywhere other than in the charts, writing music and being on stage. You know, it's way too young. Um, Does that sort of thing make you think about your mortality? Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially the things that I put myself through, been close to, you know. It's like I, by the, by, but the grace of God, uh, go I. You know, it's, it's been so close so many times. Yeah, it's been a very similar roller coaster, yes. And um, I, miss, I miss George Michael. I wish he was here. And um, was it 2016 where everybody popped up? It was just a dreadful year. Mm. All of uh, everybody's heroes disappear, realizing that you're not immortal and never more so than being 43 and having two kids. Um, yeah, it was just a, a, a dreadful thing to happen, and I miss him. Does it give you a stronger resolve not to revisit that sort of path? Uh, does it give me a stronger resolve to not visit that path? Yeah, I suppose it does, but, you know, fortunately and unfortunately, left to my own devices, I'm inclined to sabotage everything. I've got a disease that wants to kill me, and it's in my head. Um, so I have to guard against that. And I, sometimes it overwhelms me, and sometimes it's a tool that I need to get on stage and do the job I do. And sometimes I live in bliss and it's wonderful. But most of the time, I'm a human, having a human experience, trying to deal with the trials and tribulations of what goes on between my ears.